Good evening. Thank you to the Democratic Party here in Lowndes County for inviting me out tonight. It was one of the first invitations I got. I accepted about uh, probably about a month and a half, two months ago. A couple of takeaways from tonight from walking in the room. One, I very much enjoy the fact that I do I and have worked with about 50% of the people in this room. Another great takeaway was when I was told that when he went to research me, find me, and reach out to me, that he knew about 40 or 50 people on my Facebook site. Well, that tells me we're all working together. At least that tells me I'm working together with the right people in the entire city for a long time. I've never met a microphone I didn't like. I've been radio for the last 32 years. I've had a local talk show here for the last 16. Very inclusive, your music driven talk show. My platform has been spelled out there on an open book. You talk for three hours a day, five days a week. You've really got to spill your guts and you can want to be who you are. So I've sat down on that show and served this community well for the last 30 years. I'm very proud of the work I've done. About done. half the people in this room can attest that I can do this job as your next mayor. The other half I've got to convince. So I'll tell you quickly about my platform. It's one on economic development, plain and simple. Period and the story. Economic development and the revitalization. I don't want our town to grow in size. I want to revitalize what we got. I want to make it look nice. I want it to be quality and beautiful. <coughs> Transportation. It's the animal that won't go away. But it's also a damaged one if you enter into it in a 40 person bus where I've been introduced to many times over to many different civic groups already. An Uber and Lyft subsidy. Studied in about the half a dozen other towns across America and a couple in Canada where they subsidize Uber and Lyft. It picks you up at your front door. And if you're moving people, you're moving your money. You're moving about town to doctors and appointments. You're moving to spend that money and that helps to revitalize your community as well. So look it up and research it yourself, but I'll tell you I've done it inside out and sideways. If you want two hundred thousand dollars down on the table, you're buying that town about seventeen hundred rides a month. And that's a lot. Good problem to have because if it's even more popular than that, like in the Canadian city, you've got eight thousand rides a month in a town that has only thirty seven thousand residents. They took to it, they took to it well. As a matter of fact, they canceled the public transit system at that time. If you want to learn more about me, listen to the radio show right up until qualifying, and I'm going to take myself off the air for a couple of months and bump and focus on the campaign. If you want to learn more, you can go to Scott James Matheson for Mayor, on the Facebook site. Scott James Matheson for Mayor on the website as well. I've got my platform spelled out there, and I'm going to hang around afterward, because there's nothing better than shaking a hand and looking at somebody in the eye and asking you face to face what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it, for how long I want to do it as well. I love this town. Absolutely on the set. I've lived here for 30 years, longer than I lived in Cocoa Beach, longer than I lived in Orlando, longer than I lived in Cape Cod. So, so this is helping people. I want to make it better for my girls. I'm Scott James Matheson. Got the beautiful green and blue signs. I appreciate your vote. Come November 5th, it's your next mayor. Thank you.